Developer options in Android, you probably know a few of them, right? Well, there's actually a lot of other Android developer options that you should be using right away. Some are fairly unknown, some are kind of new, and some are just crazy. Yeah, check out the fourth one. Before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this video, Wondershare Mobile Trans, which lets you transfer WhatsApp data from an Android device to an iPhone and vice versa. Not just WhatsApp, Mobile Trans lets you transfer all the data from your phone and you can even back up your phone easily. This is great and you know what, they're doing a cool giveaway. You can just go to the link below, choose between the new S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro and you can win a brand new free phone. So go to the link below and try out Wondershare Mobile Trans. You know how you connect your phone to the PC and to transfer files, you first have to go to the notification shade, enable file transfer and then do the file sharing. I know it's annoying to do this every single time. So in the developer options, you have this option called default USB configuration. Here you can just select file transfer and that's it. The next time you connect your phone to a PC, your phone will be automatically set to file transfer. I know this is super handy. Some Android UIs show you the RAM usage and what apps are using the RAM the most, but most Android UIs don't. And this is where, again, developer options can help you. If you want to see the average memory usage in the last few hours or in the last day, the first option lets you see that and the apps taking up most RAM. However, a little below, there is an option called Running Services, which lets you see RAM usage in real time. It shows you the RAM usage of the OS and the apps, and below, you get the apps running in the memory right now. You can even tap on an app and stop it if you're facing RAM issues. For some apps, it even shows you if it's using a certain permission to run in the background constantly. Now, this is really useful because you can find apps that might be slowing down your phone. Next up is GPU Watch, which is another Android developer option that I had no idea existed. I mean, GPU Watch lets you monitor your gaming performance in your phone. As you can see, I'm in a game right now and it's showing me the current FPS, the CPU and the GPU load. Yeah, it's a pretty cool tool. Here it is in the developer options, I can just turn it on and what I like is I can use one of the preset widgets to show different info or I can create a custom widget with FPS, GPU load and more. Now this is the widget that was in action in the gaming shot you saw. Yeah, this is very cool. Now let me make it clear that this is available in One UI, although MIUI has a kind of similar feature called Power Monitor that you can check out. A lot of phones put a little bit of a restriction in terms of performance to better the battery life and also stop phones from overheating. But how about unlocking the real power? See, some MIUI phones have this speed mode in developer options and it's really cool. I mean, you can read what the text says. Prioritize performance over power consumption and temperature control. So this is basically the no holds barred mode. I can turn this on and you get a notification saying your device will heat up. Yeah, that's promising. To get an idea of the performance boost, I ran Antutu and this is the Antutu score without the speed mode and this is with the speed mode. Yeah, 20,000 is a pretty good bump if you ask me. So speed mode is real and I want it on other phones. Do you want other manufacturers to bring it on their Android skins? Comment down below. See, when you quit an app by going to the home screen or by using the back gesture, not all apps just close. Some just keep running in the background. You know where I'm getting at, right? You can actually make sure that apps really close when you've closed them. There's this option at the end of the page, don't keep activities, which kills apps as soon as you leave it. I can enable it. And now when I go to the home screen and open settings again, as you can see, it reloads. Now this is good from a privacy standpoint, but it's gonna take a toll on your battery and the experience will not be very good. Now instead, there's another option you can use, background process limit. This lets you limit background processes from one to four so you don't have a lot of apps just running in the background. Look, I'm someone who uses dark mode at all times, even during the day. Yeah, I'm cool like that. Anyway, some apps don't support the dark mode like Amazon. I mean, what is wrong with you, Amazon? Anyway, in the developer options, there is an option called override force dark, which forces dark mode on apps that don't support it. Now, it does not always look good because apps aren't really optimized for this, but if you really, really want a dark mode in all apps, this is the only way to get it. Now, this one is for gamers. There are three developer options that I'm gonna tell you that you should enable right away. First is Force 4X MSAA, which improves the graphics in games by rendering a higher quality of visuals. A lot of people have noticed the difference in the game visuals with this option, but this also drains battery. Another option to enable is Gable Doshe, Gable Dosh? Uh, yeah, right. This enables the newer Bluetooth stack, which gives you lower latency when using Bluetooth devices. Now, if you game with your headphones on a lot, which you probably do, enable this. 
Also set the graphics driver preference to system driver for the games. Now this is for phones which don't have game modes and yeah, it does improve game performance. So make sure to do this. Anyway, apart from these developer options, I know there are a lot of other options, but most of them are pretty popular. So we did not include them in this video. Anyway, which Android developer option do you use in your daily life? Comment down below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching. and I will see you in the next one. Android 13, five cool new features. You can now double tap on the back to turn on the flashlight.